Hey, we're live. Uh, welcome to game 19? 19. One of these days I'll remember to check this right before we start. Uh, game 19 of the Root Winter Tournament. My name is Garrick. This is Lily. Hello. Uh, we have some wonderful contestants, competitors. Compet I keep trying to say contestants. Competitors today. We have General Jack. Howdy. We have Lunar. Hello, hello. We have Omega Knight. Hello. And we have Katare. Howdy. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I don't know why I minimized that. We have dealt the draft. I have briefed them on all the rules, including the Waterman rule. Uh, so <laughs> everyone, good luck. Have fun. Uh, I'm going to go on mute, and y'all can get started. There we go. Cats, 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 cats. So I just click the map I want, right? Yep. Click the map I want. <laughs> Which map do you want? I don't know. <laughs> I was really hoping I didn't have to pick the map. All right. Well, we have a vagabond in play and a Corbin in play, so that's strong incentive I mean, for Mountain, in my opinion. Really? How come? Lost City uh, is great for Corbin to get you that extra recruit most rounds. All right. If you pick a Mountain and there's Lost City, I will go Scoundrel and pull up. He's going with Winter. <laughs> but see, the reason that Scoundrel or any vagabond wants Lost City is so they can quest. That's true. Questing uh, Velocity is very powerful, nah. but and also you, blowing it up. But if you get, if you blow it up, you lose your torch, which you need for questing. <laughs> You and your logic. Logic, I know. Be my last turn. Last turn, blow it up. <laughs> oh, we have moles. Okay, and winter Damn. map. Right out the gate. I'm not surprised. I was hoping you'd give me more time. <laughs> it's it's moles. Someone's gonna take moles first. They're just that good. So okay. where does moles set up? What does scoundrel explode? <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> We're there until no one chooses it. <laughs> um. Let's see. They need to pick a clearing. There's a pretty decent spread of suits on this and map. Now I set that up, right? I, don't, I mean, I think yeah. honestly that top uh kind of like what do you call it, Russia? Okay. Or that top okay. that top hallway really looking really good because you that's got two works, foxes, so two uh, uh, bunnies, and one mouse, and that's all you need to craft everything in the deck. Yeah, you could you could have a pretty nice setup going up in that top strip. Uh. Particularly for moles who, you know, they're one of the factions where it's like place a certain number of pieces spread as evenly as possible in adjacent clearings. If you only have two adjacent clearings, you can really cluster them up. It's true. Or you could go really wide. <laughs> like this. So a lot of this setup position is going to depend on what cards you have in your hand, which obviously we're not privy we're not to. Privy to that information, so we're just kind of guessing off of random things. Yeah. Um, how's everyone's day gone so far? <laughs> uh, I have been told that Lunar Frost is a talker, so... Oh, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> ...or lost the ice. He vanquished her enemy. <laughs> she rolled 3-0. and oh. Hopefully she didn't roll it behind uh, all my electronics again. That was a bit of a scare. <laughs> So just yeah. for for the yeah, chat information, uh, it, before Katari... Earlier. Before we went live... Katari's cat has been playing with a piece of ice, which they had taken from the kitchen into the okay, living room. Uh, and now we have no idea Two in the is. homeland, uh, five distributed in clearings adjacent to the homeland. Uh, yep. I think I think this is legal. Uh, good yep. to me. Okay, that cool. Is, that's the second step. <laughs> and I think uh, the third The third step. is just, yeah, put stuff third. on the boards, which DTS has. Third. Okay, third so I well. think that's it for me. So I just click done. All right, we have moles. Who do we see next? Cats, 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 cats. Actually, I kind of want to see cats in like first seat. Yeah, I was about to say people I can't have the ping. No, I can't ping. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, so cats typically don't. People typically don't like drafting cats in like third or fourth seat. They try to save it for first or second seat. Qatari, Europe. Yeah, yeah. Which isn't strictly necessary, uh, but. I understand why people do it. They want that turn to do things before the map starts changing. Uh, and that's, that's totally fair. I, I definitely understand that one. Wooden Alliance, also, traditionally tough on winter. Traditionally tough on winter, um, although maybe not for the tournament. Right, that's what, to say, that's what I was leading you, like, leading you to, uh, to say. Like, we've had... I did, yeah, I said it. We, we've had how many winter wins for Wooden Alliance? Um, Wooden Alliance on winter... 
I can. I think I recall like two. Lake, that's winter. We've got two on winter and two on lake. Actually, we've had right. had Wivel Alliance only winning on maps that are t typically pretty bad for them. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, but also thirteen with Alliance is a little rough because you want to go earlier to have that sympathy out so people can start interacting with it sooner rather than later. Yeah, it's not the worst in this case though. I don't know how much martial law is going to get set up against you as an alliance with this faction spread. Well, Colonels have a surprising capability of setting up um, martial law. Martial law. Yeah, but do they do it on turn one before, or turn like your turn zero? That's fair. Probably not. I think this is actually a really rough seat three pick. Ooh, so, uh, cats. I'm not seeing my hand the cards anywhere. Okay. Zoom out. Oh, uh, you're not. How's that? Uh, oh, there it was. They showed yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. They don't it, follow you around. That's probably something we should put in. The, so we're uh, not supposed to discard down until after everybody's drafted, or that can't be. Garrick. <laughs> no, we discard. Okay. Uh, there's a, there's a, there's another step after we all draft. Oh, and that at where is... we discard. That's correct. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's where we discard. After everyone has drafted and set up, you'll have a specific step where everyone simultaneously drafts down. Okay. Thank you. It was like it is definitely nice right, so, to uh, be cats. able to draft after knowing the other two factions in the game. So it's so important. Adjust. It's so important. It's I know everyone's like, wait, do I need to do all my setup at once? But no, it's it's so important to the to the balance of the game and to your strategy that you be able to draft after seeing what the faction mix is. Oh, good. Half the moles are upside down. Half the moles are upside down. Actually, more than half the moles are upside down. All but one mole is upside Honestly, down. The cat pick is really interesting. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by the cat pick, uh, but I do like cat it. Cat playing with icicle is really a uh, portentous. <laughs> is it that bad? <laughs> okay, uh, I love the, th the theme here. Me neither. Though, of Katari just imitating his oh, cat this poor, playing with this ice. poor boy. Maybe Katari picked cats just because Katari is currently orange. I mean, color never changes. I would always pick lizards if I'm yellow, but I'd also pick lizards if I wasn't yellow. I just always pick lizards if I had the option. All right, so we are seeing another keep really? on one of the center clearings. Uh, a strong, a strong aggressive position. Yeah. It's a bound to draw a lot of aggro. <laughs> well, how much aggro are you going to draw when your factions are yeah. moles, corvids, wooden alliance, and scoundrel? <laughs> right. I will say though, um, okay, about, you know, I do like you know, this move you know, since you know, the otters are like not a, in the game. Right at the yeah. Game, you know? Right. Just chill. Like you're not going to draw heat okay, from factions that are in this game. Yeah, don't you know, there's no, there's no we otters. Gotta, we got a workshop and bunny. Let's just play Uri. Workshop and bunny. That's it's a good eye. What I really want to test out today. Oh, not yet, Co Coconut Tank. It's just yeah, in the, in the draft. We're still in the draft. We only had two factions picked so far. Well, no, I mean, that has nothing to do with it. So this is actually a tough choice here. Do you put the recruiter with the keep to protect it? Or on the fox clearing to control that choke point? I would say the fox clearing. I agree. Because I think first turn, if able, I want to see the cats go up to anybody? either the edge yeah. of um, the okay. edge of the, the corridor the or into the corridor and just to fix lock off the left half of the map later. if possible. Cool. Well, I think a big thing is um, protecting uh, protecting that choke yeah, point thinking. from uh, uh, Wooden Alliance being able to cut across easily. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like I want to see them basically take over both fox choke points, mm -hmm. just control the right side of the map um, and keep that going. I just know it's going to be harder to set up a choke point I'm in that fox at the moment, but in the future- It's just one move and uh... Well, you need- Oh, oh there. no, it's not. Look at him. <laughs> you need to put something in your- Yeah, there we go. Interesting. That's interesting. I, um, I would have actually preferred to see- uh, That'd be a little worse for the workshop. Good. Well. This is the final choice. That's that's an interesting set. Oh, Wooden Alliance. Wooden Alliance. And that's me. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> All right, so Corvids or Scoundrel? That is a rough last choice. Yeah, I'd see, and this is exactly why I would have picked Mountain Map in this position because Omega Knight was the one who was okay. who chose the map. Ask Jeeves how to win as moles. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Omega Knight was in the position to choose the map uh, and could have chosen the map that was best for both of these factions. No one will know what to do. That's wild. You know, no one's ever tried it. And that would be the first. I'm sure, actually, I'm sure somebody's tried it. Some poor, unfortunate soul. <laughs> I didn't hear what they were I did not either. Yeah. I think I'd go Scoundrel. And I was apparently speaking in tandem with Omega Knight's <laughs> choosing. <laughs> all right, blow everything up. Blow it all up. 
Oh, just another reads. Scoundrel. Scoundrel's a tough one. I mean, my... Sure. If you lo Losing the torch is very difficult. My go-to phrase is that Scoundrel is a meme. It, like... The items are not great. The ability is... Is exciting, but not great. It's... It's tough. Who's got the lowest win rate out of these two? Is this the two of them? All right, we have fend off a bear, which Ooh, is not bad. The these other are, two are not great. These are some rough ones. Yeah, I don't like the other two. Any two. But okay, so I'm gonna say, uh, much to no now. one's appreciation. And the vagabond the actually is. Oh well, the cats. Sorry, the cats have the lowest win rate because they got a zero. But second lowest win rate would be the vagabond. <laughs> I've are we was, still waiting on that cat win? Yeah, we've not had a cat win yet. So I'm I'm really, really rooting for Katara just because I want that cat win. Well, seat three has been a consistent good performer yep. in the tournament so far. So this That's is true. a good good shot for Katara and a relatively thin map, I think. Relatively, yeah. So Especially with Vagabond over Crows. Crows might have been a bit more of a challenge for cats, but with Vagabond and Woman Alliance, really your only contention is with the uh with the moles. This could be a very um all right, Garrick, when I join back this game, I better see this dice back here. <laughs> better see this dice. This dice leaves, I'm going to be very angry. I'm pretty sure they're going to. Ah, uh, no. No fun. Allowed. My, my father's dice. <laughs> uh, did you flip your cards over, Katiri? Um, one, two... Three. Oh, this should be like. I'm very curious to see back. if this ends up being a sports race game. Awesome. Yeah, it could very easily devolve uh, into that. We're good to go. So, I'm not gonna done. lie. I don't feel like cats or moles are very inclined to police. Okay. Over and then I'm gonna like, leave and rejoin. Same. Up. Yeah. It's like a rich troll at this point. I think a big part of this game's right. balance is gonna be where oh, Wooden Alliance we'll sets leave up. The arena. So uh, become a color. Maybe grab a snack. Going for those mole dice first. <laughs> they are mine. <laughs> okay. So we just come right back in, or do we gotta wait for something? Uh, you just come just back in. Just join. All right. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I think Garrick has to assign you to your seats or something. Promoting cube. Boop. Hide that. We don't want to see that filthy thing. And then turn on turns once we <laughs> have uh, our vagabond in a seat. Yep. Although I think they're waiting for you to assign them to their seats instead of just choosing them because of you can not care. <laughs> I've always wanted to be promoted. <laughs> right. Watch as I yoink someone else's clan like haha fool. <laughs> Spinning on a mega knight clan. And your position on the board. <laughs> oh my goodness! Take yeah, a just seat. Just the color. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got tired of waiting. Yes, force him. All right, and now get out of a color. I'm gonna spawn the mole manager. Okay, in case they want that. And I think that should be it. I think that's it. All right. All right. Go back to spectator mode. Back to spectator we... mode. Okay. See what happens. All right. Where did Scoundrel start on the map? Scoundrel started in the classic starting position, right in the middle of all the ruins. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> moles are doing flips. I like the moles being on their head. I like the moles. Everyone's being ready. Insane. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some coffee. <laughs> 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 uh, he's in C4, it'll be fine. <laughs> who's gonna attack on turn one? Right. Alright, who's able to win points? Uh, everyone but the cats, it looks like. It looks like it. Good. Tough game for the cats, they Tough can't game score for points. The cats when they can't score points. Slip and explore the ruins at the keep. Okay. Ooh, okay. I mean, it's probably the safest bet just to get start in the keep and then get the hell out of there. Yeah, fair. Uh, it does help the cats by opening up that slot, though. That's fair. Uh, but I'm okay with this. <laughs> Over tomorrow, I know. A vagabond, you need relationship markers. That does typically help. It does. It does. 
Uh, they're working on getting their item first. Ooh, they got a bag. Bag, okay. I always like bags. Well, it's it's particularly not the worst for Scoundrel, who starts with four items. So that bag, that satchel limit's a little... It's already tight to start. Are they starting in different? It's a little they tighter. Starting in yeah. different. So what sorcery was able to put this vagabond flat on the board? Uh, uh, he, he, probably fell placed, over. he probably placed it on the recruiter, and then the vagabond's just like, yo, I'm chilling. <laughs> What dark TTS magic is responsible for this? He's a cat, dude. He's a cat chilling for the cat. It's fine. I don't even want to write him up. He seems like he's just... The worst himself. part about getting the bag now is it's not helping toward any quests. That's true. Are you sure he's I mean, it's hard, though, because for his torch. all three I'm quests sorry, require... He's an icy scoundrel. Right. So right. they're, they're uh, in a rough position to start for questing. Uh, if yeah, I, if, yeah. Uh, all's... No, absolutely. In this all is... honesty. <laughs> I don't think... Are we are we gonna help the cats? Is yeah, you can't question. place it. Yeah, I, you can't place it. Yeah. yeah I think I'm they're... going to aid the birds. Uh, not birds. Cat. Whoa. Whoa! There's <laughs> birds in this game. The birds. Thing. Okay. Make sure to exhaust an item. Flipping a uh, boot. A boot. A boot. All right. Okay. Cat marker up. As a friendly piece of advice, I'd like to suggest aiding me. Next time. <laughs> the moles. Eating moles turn one can give you a shoot very the moles, big that'd advantage. be really nice. I think, as I said in the uh, pregame chat, I I'm but a sub uh, single digit root player. Please go easy on me. No, you picked moles, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you picked moles, you don't give Flip my other boots to move down to the fox player. All right. You wouldn't hit a mole with glasses on, would you? Takes off the glasses, bunk. Uh, Birds so OP, they're gonna win this game without being drafted. <laughs> uh, make sure I think there's an end turn button at the top of your screen. Yeah. Also, Magma didn't draw a card. Hard. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> These long silences are freaking me out. What's the alliance? I'm Where do they start? Player. Okay, we got two fox and eight. Bunny, are there two fox next to I'm used to the digital version doing all the work for me. <sighs> Lazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fox, bunny, fox. Yep. Yep. Okay, that is setting the tone of the game yeah, big time. Uh, moles, not harassed by the wooden oh, alliance. Cats instead. This is going to need the. Oh, this is going to mean the table has to really done it to be moles. more active in policing of the moles. I wish I had a mouse card. That would have been true, but at the same time, uh, looking uh, at the map, there actually around. was no I'm good way gonna, for the alliance to get my into entire moles entire hands. Territory no, and no. spread out multiple ways because cat territory is. And then all right. I draw a card and end my turn. That's. I mean, that's where you're limited by <laughs> the cards you were you were dealt. But Lord of the board, you wouldn't hit a mole with glasses on, would ya? <laughs> Set up my camera seven. All right. Okay, let's see. Let, Let me, me get this two. wood. It's not bad. We are doing two games today. The other one will be at in five and a half hours. Yes, at six o'clock Eastern time. So I just decided to go off of a unitless time. Yeah, yeah. I was just adding on to what you said. <laughs> Scary Bone, that's true. Cats could just sort of uh, intentionally flee to the top of the map. Um, or maybe they just gobble up points. I'm trying to decide if I want to try actually bother dealing with the sympathy. Yeah, so this it's is always what... a good, always a good question. I'm pretty sure you have some nice... How much do I want to... What do I want to keep? What do, what do I care about? Like, if I'm, yeah, if I'm cats, I, want. <laughs> I want them to explode in the scoundrel thing. I mean, I think if you want to deal sympathy, I'm probably going funny. to right. Here right. to get more for law. There's a world where you feed so Wooden Alliance you have, like, uh, people fox or cards or bird cards, like and like they hurt the vagabond. Right the yeah. I don't know that that's necessary with this vagabond it in this game, would. but it's fun. We like blowing things I don't up, know right? How I'd get three to both of those clearings. I mean, if I'm the cats, I think a part of me you is I'm moving here. one guy into the top sawmill clearing just to have the martial law there. But I might fight the bunny clearing <laughs> well, down to keep the well, I, keep I, that I, keep I, that I, workshop I, safe, I, uh, and then just leave the other right. two. Yeah, yeah. This, this is I mean, it's not the out. worst it really is. to leave that bottom okay. fox because it's next to the keep. You're limiting the wooden alliance's options just by being next to it. 
Agreed. Agreed. Like we saw what cards you had. That's really. And all I do you think had to do. I do think start the cat's starting to build out okay. into the um that top hallway. That's what I'm going to consistently call it. Is probably not the worst choice for them. Yeah. So. I know if it was me, I probably would have set up my three clearings being the mouse, fox, and then rabbit clearing in like that little triangle. Mm -hmm. for my I'm gonna. If spend the wood. I'm, oh, I'm not crafting anything. I'm gonna spend wood. What we building? Sawmill? Yeah! Saw yeah! I like seeing building. that. I love seeing yeah, that. That I makes like me happy. Who does that? Well, I, I think you maybe could have afforded to go even farther well, out to the fox well, clearing in the northern strip, mm -hmm. but I like I like the general I'm action. Going to Agreed. overwork. Okay. Oh, I like this. Maybe we see the recruiter in that fox clearing? I'd like that too. I'd like that a lot. And so we had a build, overwork. I'm just trying to keep track of the actions because I always forget that overwork is an action. Yeah, it's and that, that always throws me off for some reason. For some reason, my brain just does not register that as an action. That becomes the biggest issue when people try to spend an extra bird card for an extra action and not. Yes, spend... love it. Okay, sorry. Uh, they try to <laughs> they try to spend a bird card both for the extra action and the overwork because yes, they think you dumb. know. Bird card for extra action, card for overwork. They don't remember that it's two yeah. different cards. Yes. Go. Oh, that's it. No extra actions. I don't hate it. I think that's a solid first turn okay. for yeah, the cats. Sure. The only concern is losing like yeah. that workshop or something. But I mean, it's still like it's zero wood. It's okay. just an extra action. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, One mole and bro. <laughs> Darth Caboose, no bird cards. Maybe he's so, saving it for later. Right now, it doesn't seem like an imminent threat to need to over. To, uh, to fresh action, extra no actions. recruit. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's a hand full of birds and you and don't want to spend all of them, them or anything. Save yeah. It for later. Like, if you don't need to spend them, it's better. Um, Are you going to update your stats after game 20? Already regretting this tunnel, but it's okay. Uh, no, it will be game 22. Uh, yeah, it will be um, the end of the weekend. Is when I tried out. It's okay. Stuff. It's okay, but it's not amazing. We'll make do with it. So the big question now is which strategy do moles choose to use? Because uh, obviously they could go swole and be fairly uncontested and race the table. Uh, but they could also choose to go small mole and just harass the table, and still probably okay. press action recruit be successful. Action, uh, going to. We're gonna take the whole burrow and we're gonna sure. just plop it on the map. The burrow. There we go. Luna Frost helping out by locking the burrow. Locking the burrow is probably a good way to go. So recruit move. Here. What does that get us? Uh, martial law. Okay. It does get us martial law, and I think they were trying so to martial law in that bottom. Move. Second action bunny, uh, is I'm well. going to not second action. Sorry. Then I'm gonna sway, and I'm going to reveal a bunny and a mouse. All right, sitting on rabbit partisans and, and a crossbow. I'm going to sway uh, Marshall. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, okay. I'd prefer to see Bridget, but if you're choosing a squire, I like seeing Marshall. I would agree, I would agree. You get a point. All right, I will put down scary bones as scoundrel uh, you don't destroying need to put the crowns a mobile building on, top on of there. It's what, the, it's what the crowns on there are already for. <laughs> uh, I guess so. I mean, you could, I, what I do is I just put the crowns off to the side. Uh, sure thing. Uh, yeah, Darth Caboose, I'm wondering as well. We turn over My only guess would be, it would be a fox, but he has a fox clearing up in the top. Mm, oh, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yeah, so I'm assuming fox. It must be a fox then. That's the only thing I can think of. I think I would have liked to see okay, uh, martial law in that bottom, in that okay, adjacent so fox clearing. Items. But... Yep. Sitting on the camera real quick. Granitap's thinking it's a bird card. That's also a reasonable consideration. Uh, not slipping and go and check the ruins. All right. Okay. What we got what we got. What we got. What we got. Show me, show me, show me. Let's see what you get. What am I gonna? What am I gonna? What am I gonna get? <laughs> nice, Ooh, nice. Sword. Okay. Could be good. Could be bad. Nice and if point. you don't want to go the hostile route as the scoundrel, you don't want that sword. Yeah, so this, this makes the scoundrel not defenseless. For a point. Okay, you have a card for me? 
It's an Aiden crossbow. I I would have probably liked to see the aid and then the then the strike. But it depends on what cards I the scoundrel had. Did you score for that? I don't. They're not. They're not striking. They're using the crossbow to aid. No, no, no. They four. they strike. They should be at four. Oh. Did they remove the? Oh, you're right. You're right. I. And I'm going to move over to the mess clearing. Just your friendly scoundrel taking out sympathy and uh, walking through the forest. <laughs> Scoundrel laying down on the job again. <laughs> you know, this ground is really comfy. Snow is quite nice Problem to lay in. It's soft and fluffy. I totally get it. I, you'd think you'd put out your torch, though. His torch is already exhausted. He's got to relight so the next turn anyway. Going to revolt. Woo! So very wrong about games. Welcome to the Root Tournament oh, Game 19. Hey, so very wrong about games. Uh, do you remove a card? Do you discard a card for your cat kitties? Hmm. He is blowing it up like I expected. Yep, yep. Yes. Uh, okay, saving the saving cats. Saving the cats. I like that a lot. Uh, I go up to three. You lose your workshop. Mm -hmm. And I get a one warrior and one officer. Right, spot. There we go. Okay. So now the big question is, would an alliance now, have a card in hand to train? Which I am going to do. Ooh, and we're spreading sympathy. Just got a fox card to go over here. Go back to where it was lost. Give me another point. Right. Yeah, you should put your base down. <laughs> <laughs> That's typically helpful. He, he was just building it. It took him a little while. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, daylight comes around. I'm going to train. Yes, I like it. For another officer. Good, good, good. The sooner you get that officer, the better your uh, game is. Military operations comes around. Double recruit. Solid. Good, good. Uh, just kind of get, get your presence on the board, set yourself up for a good turn. Yeah. And then I draw. They're unfortunately in a place where the they thing. cannot spread sympathy from that base easily at all. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be actually tough for the Wooden Alliance to deal with the keep next door and sympathy already in the adjacent clearings. But cool it's not the end of the world. No, no, not at all. All right, going to cats. I got. You got two wood. Wood. <laughs> they got wood. A perfectly innocent statement. I'm hoping to see a, another sawmill in that. I see a sawmill maybe in that fox clearing up on the top. Um, or maybe even one in the keep. I'd kind of like to see cats remove the fox sympathy and then move some people in there, maybe. And build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that maybe that just frees up an easy yeah. move for the for the wooden lines to organize. Yeah. What do you do in this situation? Because you want your clearings, but you don't want to make your, the job easy for the Wooden Alliance. Honestly, I think just like setting up martial law in that fox corner clearing that's the corner of the hallway and then just going right and just taking the top part of the map and then maybe even going down, cornering the moles from the other side. I think yeah. that's the way I would like to see it. Maybe maybe move one from the keep into that fox corner to set up martial law, and then move yeah. the fox in the top strip over to the mouse corner, uh, and then maybe you um, uh, battle the moles and build there. Yeah. I mean, you don't even need to battle the moles with two cats there. Yeah, yeah, you but I mean, you... build and then recruit. The idea is you hurt the moles by limiting their sway options. But then again, it's mouse, and they already have two mouse, so... Yeah, I mean, right. three... I mean, that would have hurt the moles yesterday when they only had boxes. boxes uh, so. Yeah, I mean, you never know what the mole's hand looks like uh, until they reveal it. No, let him sleep. <laughs> let that poor vagabond sleep. He is tired, sir. Anyway, yeah, Waterman cats are in a very nice spot. I'm very much... Uh, yeah, I think the cats are a very good person. I am. Yeah, my only real concern... Ooh. Okay, no ambush. Okay. Getting the points. My only real concern is moles, Point. points racing, yeah, more than anyone can deal with. Indeed. Uh, uh, he's a fland. Okay. And if we think about this from a meta strategy level, uh, General Jack has been saying that he is inexperienced and with Root. I don't know if that's kill? true, but if it is true, that's maybe something that gives you reason to try points racing as the cats, hoping the moles will be inefficient. Yeah. Uh, and then you can outrace them. Okay. I'll melt here for two. I like it. That is where I thought that they should set up a sawmill originally. Yeah, I like I like diversifying. I like having a recruiter and a sawmill instead of like two sawmills or something. Yes. Garrick's favorite phrase is the cats is dilute your power. Uh I think I don't think it's dilute. It's, it's, it's uh what is it? I'm gonna mark Decentralize. Decentralize, yes. Decentralize your power. Yes. 
Oh, setting up and... martial law in both of those clearings. That's a good march. I'm hoping we see a bird recruit. This guy. Okay. That makes me feel good just to have that reinforcement. Yeah, that is a good turn. Uh, the keep turn. is still a little soft in this situation. But if cool. they have cats cards, uh, place then one we'll be okay. Warrior in the burrow. Yeah. It is and first action is going to be to like, recruit. The keep's a little a little juicy. As I hear that's good. But do you actually expect the Wooden Alliance uh, to go after it? It would be a bold really move for the Wooden Alliance. <laughs> I don't think the wooden, uh, it would be a good choice for the Wooden Alliance if I'm being hmm. if I'm being uh, honest. Just saying, cats are spreading pretty freely up here. How many cat cards in the cat's hand? Two Ooh. cards after drawing. Great question. Because they're not focusing on recruiters at all. Um, and they're really just going to so Actually, like, I'm not going to recruit that, that extra action. Card extra draw. I'm going to spend one action to move one guy here. Okay. Reinforcing that martial law. Yeah, I like martial law setup. Not against it. I'm surprised I didn't do that with the martial move, though. Yeah, that's a good. God damn it. <laughs> General Jack is uh, maybe not. I'm... The most familiar with moles from the goddamn it that we just heard. <laughs> I'm thinking General Jack might be trying to get to a fox clearing for sway purposes, and he just realized that there is a sympathy there. Mm. Yeah, that's that's not. First action, move one guy from that mouse to the other mouse. Yep. Second action, I'm just gonna recruit again. Cause <laughs> scary bone, thank you. It's okay. It's all fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Uh, take a you know it's fine because you're repeating it agitatedly. Move these guys here. Okay. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to sway. Uh, Bridget. Good. Truly. Really? All right. Show us your cards. I already know two of them, but I want to see the third. Oh. This is oh. For the mouse. Uh, Spending this that bird. For the mouse, and this is for the. Okay. Yeah. Bunny rabbit. That's unfortunate. They have to spend the bird. Uh, yeah. That's probably why. I, th I think you were very correct in your, your your statement. So that is two points. And just you lose the bird card. Only you don't the lose card. the other two. You don't lose the other two. You only lose the bird card. Thank you. I just <laughs> realized that. <laughs> God, imagine that you reveal a bird card. And you have to lose every card you revealed. <laughs> that, would be that would be horrifying. <laughs> That would be a very game-breaking thing. All right. So Mole's sitting at three points after that. Uh, they just do their cards. What does Scoundrel refresh? Definitely the torch. Uh, they have three refreshes, so everything, actually. Yeah, There's no decision like, here. I was like, is, is there a decision here? I didn't no, think I was, there was. I was talking before I thought. <laughs> the martial law, it's three warriors of one, one faction. Yes, they have one fair. faction. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I didn't. that wasn't a waste of time. Um, they don't help you. The, the, the your warriors don't help. Don't, oh, center, interesting. Don't work with the together. The crossbow together, on the Wooden Alliance, the alliance didn't make them spreading. go hostile. I cool. No, that. yeah, no, because you only go hostile when you uh, remove, remove a warrior, warrior piece. Yes. I want to check the ruins. So actually, uh, all right. What we got in these ruins? But maybe they not should. Not going to slip. Not going to slip. Going to check the ruins. Okay. Maybe yes, everybody I, should I, no, I, to oppress the bread. Well, martial law on the board says you must have been <laughs> yeah, another yeah. magic supporter if the target clearing has at least three wars yeah. of another player, so. Mm -hmm. One player. Cool. All right, read that right. Uh, not uh, another hammer. boot. Yeah, not what you want. No, rough. You wanted that, but you wanted Gotta that go hammer. fast. Bing, ding, rough ding, rough explorers ding, ding. for the scoundrel. Very, very true. Scoundrel no one's really crafting anything running. Yeah. Either, which is not the clearings. helping. Because that's the one item that Scoundrel could really afford to not explore. Like, if this was the hammer and the next one was the boot, you could get the hammer and then stop exploring for the rest of the game. You could. That's very true. Especially because... Oh, they're not at bag limit yet because they got the bag, so that's good. Oh, yeah. Score one point. Or... <laughs> yep. that, is, that is a fun phase of the game. Uh, I know I had to do that several in uh, IRL groups who were just like, yeah, the tiny, tiny tax at the bottom of the board. Don't you see it? It's oh, so yeah. Obvious. That... You can tell leader we're, we're inexperienced when you look at the Wooden Alliance board that the placement of martial law, the fact that they've made the only board that goes sideways instead of up and down, the uh, spread sympathy to an adjacent clearing, if able phrasing, which is just so misleading. Being the Woodland Alliance a yeah. card for a point. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay. Good uh, yeah. All right. So are we just going to feed on sympathy? Maybe do an aid and then do uh, another strike. <laughs> Would you exhaust the aid? Exhausted the yeah, you need to exhaust it, something to aid. Oh no, he exhausted the boot to move. Yeah. No, a different boot. <laughs> yep. Makes I mean, sense. you got three of them. You got three Who of them. Needs three feet. <laughs> I, I hate you so much. I, what? <laughs> Why do you hate me? I don't know. I have no cards in my hand, so I'll just pump face down so they can look at them. Is that how it works? If you pop a token, uh, you place down the cards on the table. I get a look at them, and then I take one from the top. No, you have to flip them face down first. <laughs> Don't show everybody. So, what are you using the Papa token? Uh, crossbow. Okay. Flip the crossbow. Okay. You get a point for the sympathy. I look at your hand. This is solid. I then pull a card to my support. Scoundrel keeping a decent pace this way. Yeah, and I'm kind of keeping the little lines in check, too, but also helping them in their own way. Yeah, you no, it's. Cards back into your hand now. It's an interesting balance. Oh, oh, oh! The ambush goes off the table. That's not an ambush. It's a coins, and it's now floating the above their. Ah, <laughs> yeah, no one saw that. No one saw that. <laughs> Definitely not us. <laughs> Do you smell gold? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to use the boots to move back to the men's clearing. Okay. okay. Yeah, it makes sense. They want to slip into that top room to get that hammer. Yeah, yeah. I almost would rather have waited until next turn, though, because now you've set yourself in a, up in a position where moles can uh, battle you freely. Okay, I get Whereas before, they would have to move to battle. So I'm going to spread sympathy. But they do still have the sword, so they're not undefended. So it's, it's a... For a point. A decision. Right, right. Can't really go anywhere else. Uh, so daylight comes around. I'm going to mobilize two cards in my hand. But Mark, I was really hoping this would be the mountain map, and so I'm going to discard the this arm traitor to train an but, officer. Uh, did not happen. Got our third officer. Good. I like it. Good. Okay. Going to go in the evening. Let's see. Wrong button. Then we're going to. I only have three. Actually, yeah. Recruit, move. Take two with you if you're gonna be trying to keep going. Yeah. Okay, move, yeah. move, organize. I'll take two of the move action. I'm worried that this is just feeding. And then I'll use my last scoundrel. one to recruit. Oh. Draw two cards. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Okay. So you're denying the scoundrel the easy points, and you what are. What's going with this? Uh, you're protecting it if you want to revolt there, and you are setting up for a future move. Potentially helping the moles to the mouse. Uh, that's solid. Yeah. The moles do not. I will say if if they if he's planning on um blowing up the fox though, I would have rather seen him move and organize in that top. They are a menace. Uh, in, in the clearing above it, and then a move into that to protect it. Yeah. But. I don't know. Okay. Beginning to realize the multiplicity of mistakes. <laughs> Squidmark. Uh, just quest for days after that. All right. Well, so but over the morrow, um, Scary Bones predicts a scoundrel killing a mole building on turn six, and I have written that down <laughs> because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I was going to say, Squidmark, it's tough to quest after you um, lose your torch. It is very tough to quest after you lose your torch. Yeah. Especially when all three of your quests are... Torches. Require torches, yeah. Yeah. The fifth faction was the Corvid Conspiracy. Yep. Uh, so no crows. Yes, okay, look at this cat building sawmills. I love it. There's... There's very many things that they could do here. Yeah, it's good mark exactly. Yeah, like they're, you're when you get scoundrel, you're like, oh, I can bomb the lost city and then go explore a uh, quest for the rest of the game, and then you're like, oh, half the quests need torches. And also, the lost city is amazing for questing. 
<laughs> well, no, yeah, right. That's the that's the issue. Like, you want to do it so that you can protect it and be like, I have a nice little questing oh, zone. Oh, because nobody else could do it and you can still quest there. Because nobody else can go there. But then you're like, oh shit, I can't quest anymore. I see. I see the. I understand the joke. I'm getting pulled. Yeah, Juanito, cat setup does look solid. This is. I think Katara is handling this exactly right. Uh, I like it a lot. Yes, I, I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love seeing the um empty building slots in the keep this early on. Yes, yes, I'm I'm such a huge proponent of I treating mean, open building slots too. like a finite resource that you have to preserve, and it's so important to build from the out in so that your most heavily contested slots are used first, and then you can safely backfill the the less contested clearings i think it's so important to success as cats okay building another recruiter good because that's getting your draw online yeah, you need, you'd want to get that draw online for sure yeah it's about that point where you're starting to feel card starved uh and it's useful the only problem with recruiter up there is it's not the most useful location when you already have another recruiter up there and that's they're sort true. of stranded up there i kind of would have preferred it over in that fox clearing on the the edge. You know where I would have preferred it. I would have purchased you a move into the mouse clearing on the other edge of it, and right there. I would have liked that too. I would have liked that too. Yeah, control the north, full control of the north. Well, control of the north from a better position with which to launch out, because mm -hmm. trapped in the two middle spots is a little tough. But trapped in the middle and the corner, that gives you a lot more power. I would agree. I would absolutely agree. All right, so we did a recruit. Um, so we got a build and recruit is so far, I believe. But I still like this. Like, I don't think it's it's not exactly what I would have liked to see, but it's good. Yeah. I love I love the sawmill recruiter combo. The 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 emphasis on preserving slots. It's all good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I would love to see them move into that mole clearing, and then even maybe even into the bunny clearing on the river, just to put a bit more pressure on the moles too, just to kind of hem them yeah. in as well. Yeah. Because if everyone's hemmed in on the south, you can just keep in the north. Yeah, see, I would have... Okay. I would have moved one out from, say, the fox, and then that one back to the bunny, get your 2-2, two -two, and then would have built the recruiter and recruited over in the corner. I wonder if they're trying to save that uh, other uh, the, um, cat that's stuck deep in mole Good. territory. I think so. Oh, oh. All right. Uh, one mole. I'm going to recruit twice. I know, sorry. I'm going to recruit once. <laughs> over the Moro. I apologize. And but Greece is great, so enjoy it because it's, it's really, really great. Build a market right over here. All okay. right. Okay. I like markets. Markets and are good. Then I will use uh, my first formal, uh, sorry, my first uh, move action from Mr. What's his name? Marshall. Uh, uh, Marshall or Bridget? Marshall, thank you. Okay. Marshall the Marshall. And I think I'll use one move action from Bridget to consolidate this guy here. Okay. Okay. Mole's giving up that corner. Don't think that matters very much. It makes sense when you already have two mouse. Use yeah. a... Cats are very happy now because they've got easy access to that button. The second now. action to move two guys here. All right, maybe setting up for a future bunny build. Mm -hmm. and I mean, I do like the fact that the moles have sorry, cornered the I double use slot my clearings. Actions. Actually, no, I'm doing it correctly. After I use all the bridges move actions, I'm going to sway yep. uh, Captain. Captain? Would have preferred Mayor, but okay. We, we still have not seen one card from the mole's hand, like, every turn. Weird. Fox card discarded. That's maybe the fox card that... They just gave up on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start off by refreshing two boots and my torch. Right. And Good. Turn four, round four. Not refreshing the crossbow, notably. Well, I guess there's not any easy sympathy to strike right now, so it doesn't make... It doesn't and you and you need that torch to explore, nice so... Me. Yep. I'm going to slip into the, into the mole clearing. Hey there, pal. And then Scoundrel Scorched Earths. <laughs> it is not round six! 
Uh, I'm going to. You can't. You can't not get that hell hammer. Experience. Finally find no, it. yeah, you absolutely need that hammer. Yes. <laughs> There's no world where it is strategically advantageous to Scorched Earth right now. There's another boot. <laughs> no one has crafted anything at this anything. point. Anything. Scoring one point. Um, the Woodland Alliance took off Cat's ability to to craft anything. Yep. Almost immediately. Uh, Moles only just got the ability to craft things, and then Woodland Alliance has not been crafting. Yep. All right, Scoundrel now in a good position with the hammer to run over to the bunny clearing with the cat all right oh. Boop. what are we doing over here running away from everyone <laughs> maybe this, this seems like a safety clearing all right flip both i guess it is an interesting decision yeah stuff by rudy i agree i think um I think Scorched Earth is delayed to due to the order of the ruins. Hammer to aid the cat twice. Okay. That that's kind of what I was expecting. I'm, I wonder if they have. Well, the, they see. only have the two bunny cards. That might be. Cats aren't unhappy about this. I wonder if they're giving up their coins. Yeah, that's a good question. But it's pretty. It's pretty safe to give it to the cats because cats aren't going to craft coins anytime soon. So if you're going to give it to somebody, give it to them. That's fair. That's fair. Scary bone. That's a good question. Um, Scoring two more points and moving my friendship level up with the cat. I would not build a workshop in this position uh, because cats are in a good spot, but their their slots are a little scarce. So yeah, unless this, cats like had a slam dunk like craft, that icy rogue, like one some cost some craft in their hand, I would I would say no. Stick to building the sawmills at they this got a point. Whole army. Just friends. Well, you're the icy <laughs> rogue, Mister Vagabond. They just wanted to make friends. Well, I'm just helping out my other friendly cats here. Yeah, the 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 okay. scary scoundrel cat helping out the other cats. Draw my card and then my turn. <laughs> That's fair. That is very fair. Oh man, that scoundrel is adorable. Made a joke about playing Ure Root before, but maybe it's right. too early. Quite an interesting game going on. We have moles getting ready to turtle up and do their stuff while cats are spreading uncontested. Yeah, you were right. I don't Ooh. envy your. I found an anvil. I found the anvil. I don't envy. Rough for vagabond. The cats just have all this building space, and moles aren't gonna win a race with cats. You never realized scoundrel is a cat over the morrow. <laughs> uh, I am going to revolt. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. Revolting. Kind of what we expected. Yep. Uh, cats not saving I am that not cat. Not field hospitaling that. Okay. I would have liked to see that field hospital if Katari had an extra card, but if you don't, it is what it is. Case. I mean, Wooden Alliance is still in a pretty yeah, difficult position, honestly. No, yeah. Yeah, Wooden Alliance uh, is still trapped break. next to the keep my on the winter map, but now they have secure of half of the choke point, uh, so that's that's going to be big, but, but still looking yeah. tough for Wooden Alliance. I, uh, I think I think their best bet ahead, to getting out of this conundrum is a craftable, part. like it usually is. If they could get Corvid Planners or Propaganda Bureau, yep. uh, I think that would be great for their game. I see Propaganda Bureau. I want to see a Saboteur's almost immediately. Yeah. Move. Poof. Yep. <laughs> yep. Move. Poof. Yep. Unsurprising. So that nets me two points. Good stuff. So this is a threat to the moles, but not to the uh, cats. Evening comes because around. fox base is down, so you cannot revolt. Not, evening's already that um, fox clear. I get to draw three. Cards Poof is definitely the turn. operating word for organized now. I agree <laughs> entirely. All right. All right, go back to cats. Let's get this wood. A hey, cat's got four wood on the board. I say maybe go down and building in that fox because it's an easy spot. Um, or even going to the bunny? Yeah, I'd rather build out to the bunny and mouse. Yeah, because uh, no one's going to contest them for that fox spot. Yeah, that fox is theirs for, for the foreseeable future. Yeah. So I'd rather them go for the ones that are more contested. Uh, but yeah, this is looking quite good for cats right now. If you're building in that bunny, what are you building? Um, That's maybe a little far out for a sawmill, but I'd do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're my resident cat expert here, so I, I uh, rely on you for this information. I, I wouldn't claim to be a true cat expert, but You're I am... You're my resident cat expert, so... I am big on sawmills. I am big on sawmills. I've, I've, I have... I played a lot of cats base game and then yes. coming into Underworld. I've, I've played a lot less of cats in a, in a Marauder mm -hmm. meta, but... There are no Marauders here. <laughs> there, there are no Marauders here, that's true. You have, you have a point. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, I'm pretty big on sawmills. Like... For okay, so Sawmill the choke point. Worst case scenario, Sawmills typically add an extra piece to the clearing that can absorb a hit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of people make the mistake of popping the wood in that situation when you should pop the Sawmill yeah, and then move pieces back in and use that wood to rebuild immediately in that, that newly opened slot. Right. It's There you are. It's good stuff. Uh, popping that Sympathy, I don't know that that was necessary. In fact, I think it absolutely wasn't necessary. But it's a point. I will say the fun thing with sawmills too is I feel like people are like sawmills generate cat's engine go attack the sawmill and cats are like yay open slots right exactly <laughs> exactly cats are not the like when you have four sawmills and three of them are Let's... pretty decently protected you're not too sad about losing a sawmill the, the thing about sawmills is they are always useful overworking I like overworking I like overworking if you have an extra action as cats and you can overwork you should do it because it's just going to make your job easier in the next future round, yeah. yeah it definitely makes the next round even easier because it's just one more wood to work with yeah five and end. okay uh, i think that was a solid cat turn yeah so the only action, the only thing i may have disagreed with was uh, yeah i token but at the same time it doesn't seem like they had much to do uh it's a free point if you don't have much to do my first action. although they could have overworked and built uh, it we'll build another market for my second action okay I like I like the double market. Uh, I'm a I'm a vocal fan of market heavy strats for moles. Mm -hmm. Although I will say that is looking like a very delicious thing to blow up now because the, the moles do consolidate power. They do. I mean, they okay. do. Very centralized. But again, if Scoundrel does that, it basically blow. It basically throws Scoundrel's game out the window. That's so true. that's true. You can was too probably too count on Scoundrel not doing that. Then I'm going to. Take my suede ministers. I mean, markets are stronger, Thungan. And. How many cats do the Marquis have left in their supply? Uh, six in the supply. I'll use. No, don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll use Marshall to move here. Ooh. Disturbing some supply lines. You know what? This is okay. Like, if cats lose that that sawmill, just they just rebuild it. Yep. The question and is, I'll how much damage to battle the cats here? How much damage are the I wolves taking? This yes, is the question. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> how much damage do the moles take from this? Is really the question. So, we fight on. Trade one. one. It's a trade. One one. That was a rough for the Hospital moles. Player. Yeah, rough for the moles. Yeah. Uh, they they used a lot of their force on that on that battle. And they and left uh, this is their all going their fine. Don't worry about pretty it, undefended. <laughs> which I am not a huge fan. Uh, of. I'll use Bridget to move these guys in here. Okay, that makes me feel Because I'm gonna be a greedy little piglet. <laughs> and I'm then going to sway. <laughs> Okay, I now imagine moles like snorting you know like pigs. What? I just <laughs> it's the cutest damn thing. I'm gonna sway banker. Uh, One, two. I'm trying to. I'm trying to pull out a bird card from my hand. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. So moles leading into a banker strat, uh, which should get the table's attention, because with two markets and banker, that means scary times. It does. That means points. Yeah, you get points for that. It does. I, I do think uh, the scoundrel blowing up that clearing is not exactly uh, out of the question. I mean, well, I, Depending yeah. Depending on I, how the game goes. I foresee a late game, desperate, scorched earth to that clearing to balance the table. Uh, but it's going to be the sort of thing where the scoundrel's giving up their game to do so. Uh, and it probably just hands Cats or Wooden Alliance the win in that case. But hey, we'll see. Uh, Darth Kibus, I, I do agree. I am surprised to see no Earl of the one that cares about Marcus. Are about to get their engine on <laughs> uh, yeah, I would really like to see that next turn. Are the problem. 
I would have liked to see that last turn. I would have liked to see it last turn. I would like to see it by now, but... Uh, there's that one card that you just hold on to. Yeah, yeah every turn, General Jack is just holding on to yeah, a card, and I'm wondering... <laughs> there's one thing I can think of. It. I think it's a bird ambush. That could be. But then why didn't he use I mean, it in use that it situation? when you think I'm really going to be a problem. I think at this point, you kind of do want me in the game to keep control of the cats a little bit. But, I, I mean, made a you're terrible... Not. I made a terrible mistake, and I basically I'm playing from a turn behind because I didn't really pay attention to the cards in my hand. So, so I'm kind of just playing catch up right now. All right, General Jack admitting is, that I he did not. I think you're a much bigger threat than you're letting. He did on. not pay attention to because his cards in hand when setting up, mm -hmm. and as such, he's yeah. playing from a turn behind. Don't worry about it. Uh, Fine. <laughs> I think I think the table is right that moles are more of a threat than General Jack is letting on. But I think General Jack is probably being honest that uh, he's a little behind where he should be. At that point, I will well and effectively be truly out of the game. And at that point, it's Vagabond versus Woodland Lions and Cats. And how do you feel about that one alone, Vagabond? Well, I don't think he's going to torch it immediately. Like he said, he does have torch quests he need to do, but like... Yeah, it will be torched, and I understand that. You know, but at this point, you know, uh, we got yeah. to keep things congenial, you know? So go hit the cats. I mean... <laughs> I think at this point, it's a matter of... Too, but I, also want I think what class. I would love... I, if I was a different player at this table, what well, I would want point, is I would want to take out one Here's the thing, Moles. I would want both, though. Uh, if you don't just go police the cats... The problem is, if you're taking out one, you're probably taking out both. Yeah, I know, it's, I know I don't have control over that. Is more. I mean, he tried to police me. He tried. Yeah. I, 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 and I think he did it half-heartedly. This is a interesting table grump going on. Yeah, some half-heartedly, or was it fool-heartedly? <laughs> it was. I tried to. I, I tried to valiantly hope for the odds to be on my side, but alas, I was undone by feline uh, underhandedness. Traitors, yeah, feline so treachery. I know there was an ambush. You know, my scouts were led astray. So I do. That that was unforeseen. It just happened. It's rude, to, rude. I really appreciate the um, um, kind of lean into like the RP you I played dirty, push, apparently. Uh, aspect As of the, the game, just like here this is board, this is the Mr. story Cats, that's being told. To oh, yeah, I, I love be of this poison from this mousy Leninist over here. I'm more aware of it than you are, man. <laughs> All the bases are on my side of the board. I mean, it's not like I can blow up another fox clearing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see, four sawmills. How many building spots does he have left? And the keep's so, fairly safe. So I guess Scoundrel is basically deciding what to do with his turn. Yes. Uh, and the table is... Trying to get, go no, to him trying to, to go convince him. both ways. He still has yeah. two in his keep over here. He has one I mean, honestly, here. if I'm the Vagabond, I'm like, he hmm, technically questing has sounds great, guys. Thanks. And I would just do whatever I wanted, because I don't think right now... Sword, hammer, crossbow. There. Sword, hammer, crossbow. Aggressive. Aggressive, indeed. The question is, what do you know with that hammer? What's he crafting? Um, it's a good question. I'm hoping it's T. To the mouse. <clears throat> ah. Cat's betrayal? Cat's betrayal. Crossbowing the, the cat, then going to the hostel. And then being able to hit that <laughs> sawmill for two. I mean, that's not... Not, that's not a... That's, I think that's great. I mean, honestly, if I'm not the cats, I'm not too... I'm not right. too uh, if I'm the cats, I don't care too much. The... Sawmill. No ambush. Is there an ambush? No ambush. You get two points. And two I'm wondering points. why no one's worried about the Vagabond at this point. I think I think they can afford not to be too worried yet. If we see a tea craft right now, I'd start getting worried. I'm very curious why they refresh Try my turn in my turn. Oh, okay. Just oh. refreshing it for the future. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will say, moving around the board is okay, now going to be no much more difficult on. for the scoundrel, and those boots are necessary. Yes. I will go ahead. That's why I really would have liked to see that T. Using two bunnies and a bird. Where are we going? To go here for a point. Got it. Got what it. the uh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Love when people get caught off guard like that. Always fun to see. Always fun I mean, to see. I mean, what do you expect me to do? Not play the game? You're surely missing. Well, I, he I the two just, bun there's nothing else he could have done with the two bunnies. I, I know, I'm kidding. Uh, I just don't appreciate this dialectical mouse materialism over here. It, no, you're in my woods, dude. Nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be friendly to the vagabond. I'm gonna do some crafting, <gasps> investments in mouse and attack. 
Ooh. Ooh. Investments and mouse in a sack. Oh, that's why they wanted to get over it's there, too. Of you to provide get yourself with those four points. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's I no, it's items that he needs. I mean, I wanted to craft coin this is earlier. Definitely a race game. My clearing. Oh yeah, this oh, is yeah. looking good for Wooden Alliance. Yeah, this is like good for the Wooden Alliance. Alliance is keeping up the yeah. pack. That means they're winning. Big jump. Um, do, 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 do. But I'm honestly curious if they stop interacting with Wooden Alliance, if that'll really just end the game for them. Mobilize this card in my hand. What's the last one doing? So it comes back around to evening. It's an ambush. Probably. Poof. Or another coin. Mm -hmm. Or another coin. For two points. Cats, stop taking that that, that uh, sympathy out. Yeah, don't take that sympathy out anymore. I You're just going to help out. Yeah. Recruit, Never, like, taking sympathy out recruit, next to a base is just not the way to go. Recruit. Wait. Have four oh, organized oh, recruit. Yeah, recruit? I, can't, I can't do all that. I can do one well, less recruit. Recruits. Yeah, two recruits. Um, I wish I could keep everyone. They got it. <laughs> I'll keep them. I'll, I'll, Just I'll burn every. It's actually kind of funny how this is effectively a base this. game with the mole. I think she consider the uh, the mouse at this point. So now they're trying to talk the scoundrel into scorched That's earthing. A lot of distance to cover. <laughs> scorched earthing a base. It's a big jump for woodland. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a big jump for Woodland, but y'all have more consistent point values. Uh, I get a draw. Is Scoundrel a um a river folk? In my vagabond, I forget which ones are which. This what? Some of the some of the vagabonds came in river folk, but some came in the vagabond's oh, okay, got it, got it. I think Scoundrel's river folk. Mouse, yeah. But yeah. God damn, do I want to punch these sympathies? I mean, you can. You'll just be helping the moles out a lot. No, you'll be helping yeah, the. You'll be helping I should probably the, do it. The lions out by taking them out. At least taking out the take them out of the one in the bunny's fine, but the one in mouse. I oh, right. But I don't know. I mean, do you? Well, want mouse to... is the one that can revolt. Is the I problem? Do but they can also poof it yes. so easily. Yeah, that's that's even it's. That it, they're going bank. Even though they're going bank. Yeah, scary bone. I'm with you. <laughs> just just build and chill. Yeah, I'm the mole. Oh. Oh, yeah. you're the mole. Oh. Just move some cats <laughs> over. Help themselves, greedy. Build, <laughs> chill. <laughs> there you go. I just don't like, just don't like this education programs that you're teaching mole children right now. It's just teaching thought... mole children. Y'all are gr y'all are underground people. Y'all are on my land. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, oh, there's just too many sympathizers in our in our in our uh, in our bourgeois, you know, who are hearing these ideas. All right, so I think we're probably going no, for another they realize... Yeah, I'd love to see a sawmill <laughs> built either in the mouse corner or the bunny. Yep. Uh, and then, you know, a move to set that up and a recruit to follow that up. I think that'd be a great, great turn. Um, how, how, They've got five wood. Can I see the crafting board again? I don't have right. theirs. Yep. Okay, so they, you know, they're one short for doing a recruit and a sawmill. In this analogy... No, I mean a crew action, not a recruiter. No, I know. I'm just saying they they're, they're, they could build twice the or Germans something. And maybe... The cats right they, uh, now pressing down, into Russia. Do an extra action for recruit or something. And then we yeah. got a little. We got the SRs. We got all these Bolsheviks here. I'm not SRs. Well, whatever faction you want to do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying we've created 1917. You know, but in root, uh, I feel. I am attacking the. Sympathy. No, I'm. Do you have an ambush? No. no. Atari, I don't like it. I'm building. Yeah, I was neutral. I was. I was neutral, and then people invaded my home. See if the if the. Moles right here are on the back foot because of like my point value. Like I'm the incompetent czar who like can't actually get their shit together during World War One. Just the analogy. I'm just gonna. I'm just dictating myself right now. Yeah. Yeah, Shadow Dice. That that's what it's my memory was saying. Scoundrel, Arbiter, and Vagrant were the Riverfolk ones. But Riverfolk is basically a base game, right? Okay. If you backed the first Kickstarter, you got them at the same time for free. Mm. Building the Samo, which I do like to see. Building it and in the box one, clear, two, which is recruit. interesting. It's, it's not the worst. Yeah. Better than the keep. And, then recruit. and we got a recruit. Okay. I think it's still good. Still a good turn. Yes. Two. It's not necessarily what we liked the most, but it's oh, still a good okay. turn. I would agree. And we're not always right. Um, I'm going to... First action, I'm going to back I don't know if you agree with that, but okay. Uh, no <laughs> ambush. Card. I mean, I thought I was wrong okay, once. Uh, wrong, second battle, I'm gonna battle here for my first second. Wait, second what do you mean take? Card. What do you mean take it? What do you mean take? You have to give me a card. You have to. Ah, uh, wait. Give a card what? or show your hand. Yeah. Yes. You have to give me a mouse or Ooh. bird card. Not General Jack getting ahead of himself there. You can't. 
Don't show it. Don't touch it to the table. Sorry, not <laughs> kind of moving forward. Not thinking. Okay, there you go. Okay. So Darth Caboose, I just don't think it's necessary. There you go. Yeah, he took out all of the sympathy. I think they're gonna. Someone's gonna need to go after that. And so then I will bank her away soon. These two. Moles giving up their hand for points. Not uh, loving that. I do have a rules question. Yeah. Uh, if I bankering the same suit, do bird cards count? Yeah, you just declare them as mouse. Cool. All right, just double checking. Woo! Getting rid of his entire hand. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's a really common four, rules four question. Points. I don't actually understand why it's so common. Uh, um, sometimes I feel like, uh, especially with moles, since birds kind of count as different cards for swaying and uh building and stuff i mean they don't count as different cards you just have to discard them after using them yeah but that's why it's seen as a you different card damn it like clearly it's confusing it's in some way because fine. it gets asked so often i it's just it's just interesting because it's yeah. not one i understand why it's being asked mole minister actions because i'm recognizing i probably should use those to battle instead of my recruits but that's okay uh i'll just use my one movement to like move this one free guy scary bone what it actually is is birds are suited as the other thing because the rules clarify if you're ever forced to discard or pay something those don't then birds are forced if, if to count banker. towards that oh no i'm done i'm done oh no, wait wait no. banker you're right you're right you're right you're right you're right right thank yeah. you yeah banker cards get discarded yeah <laughs> i knew that intuitively but i'm getting everything mixed up in my mind right now I think Jack's getting a little um, okay, a little that overwhelmed. Is, yeah. Just needs to totally, calm down. Totally understandable. Yeah, I know how hard it is to play in a tournament. But you guys always remember to breathe. Yeah, breathe, cool it down. Yeah. Okay, All right, we're back here. Scary bones. It's it's round six. Are we yeah. seeing the scoundrel <laughs> explode from <laughs> mole from building? And they're yeah. scoring a lot of points. And I they're think not everyone's doing... scoring a lot of points. It's kind of scary. Well, I'm... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you just punched my sympathy token, so i not scoring a lot of points here. Well, once again, I really supporters. do want to see I someone think take you're fine. that fox base. I no. might have to run in to grab those items, though, that he crafted. I think with four yeah. officers, run you're going to grab be it, around. and then punch hey, okay. the heck out of him. Uh, not compared to moles who you can sway, bank. So the one nice thing about going hostile with the know, Wind Alliance in some way at this point, like either Scorched Earth or a Crossbow or whatever, oh, you've been playing means you can start getting two points for every sympathy token you clean up. That's of fun. course, uh, <laughs> Omega Knight is going do anything last that, so. in the sequence after yeah, Wooden Alliance, sure uh, meaning that Omega Knights get the um, like the, last pick. The, yeah, the scraps yeah. of the sympathy. It's true, but the the principle stands. So like because banker moles are just going to run with it. Yeah, they're doing several points a turn just off banker on top of all their yeah. other actions. Yeah, everyone just wants me to. Torch their enemy. Got yeah, that's because we're all too lazy to do it ourselves. <laughs> I mean, it's not more so that we're... I, I'm not lazy. I can't. Right, right. You, yeah, you actually can't I, go I, over I there. I literally can't. I'm lazy. <laughs> you need bird cards. I was a dark caboose. Having that top right box corner build. torch, while it would hurt the cats, it, they can still move back in so easily. Exactly. Well, no, torched. It's, if it's scorched oh, earth, so you, never mind. you can't move back in. That's fair. Um, but I I don't think it would be horrifying for the cats because cats could just focus on building on the left half of the map with yeah. the two sawmills they have up top. Yeah, and then the whole you know maybe maybe take out the bunny base to just connect up that other sawmill. But... Or just move uh, uh, five warriors in to rule it and get the the wood into the mouse keep for a sawmill. That's true. Yeah, I don't think it'd be the. I, I think it would hurt, but I don't think it'd be the worst. And, and mostly, I don't know that it's that cats are the threat. I think Wooden Alliance is the threat at the yeah. moment. As I said before, if the Wooden Alliance is staying with the pack, they are winning. Yeah. Uh, Wooden Alliance is hemmed in, hemmed in, but the table also keeps helping them out by removing sympathy. Yeah, so, so they, they're, they're giving them more space to operate. Right. They're, they're undoing the hard work of hemming them in every turn. That said, it is still a little bit slower of a build for the Wooden Alliance, it seems. <laughs> Scary bone. <laughs> I don't think moles... Aren't a threat, I will say. <laughs> I, I, he just wants his prophecy I fulfilled. I know. Sorry, I, know. I haven't drawn to you all game. 
I can't craft it even if I, I can't craft it even if I had it because moles bopped me. Well, don't you craft after spreading? Only yeah, but Marshall Wall, dude. Uh, yeah, I guess it depends. Yeah, on. over the Moro, torching the moles would basically take them out of the game entirely. If moles were doing the, like getting torched from a strong position, like if I didn't, it would just be sending them back, and they could be like still down, rebuild yeah, yeah. in time. Like, but actually, they're kind of in a precarious position at the moment like where the, uh, they're keeping up, the but they're not ahead. So I think torching them would just. I mean, I think you know. just the most Luke, I don't understand why why it gets to their bunny. I think it's their game. They already have a bunny base, so what would Luna. getting into the bunny Luna. do? Come on. Do you mean? No, Come on, I'm buddy. just making a suggestion, dude. We want to all on, play buddy. the game here. Come on. Does he mean mouse, maybe? We we all want to play the What's game. What's going on? Here. Smash the stage. The middle mouse. Uh, moles over here are playing solitaire. What's going on here? I, there's no way that the I'm moles are like a lot of solitaire. Luna's just trying to smash the stage, okay? Like... I'm just That's saying, uh, if the moles want to play... Uh, Darth Kibus, I agree. The, solitaire, the moles are not drawing enough cards for what... Board. And they don't have a lord set up uh, yeah, to do what they I really need to do. If they were doing this position with, with, you know, with the market lord also helping scoring, like, we'd, be, we'd have a whole different situation. They want to use an off, whole uh, different situation. Uh, like, honestly, if the Wither Alliance point, is kind like, of kept in I don't know, and like, can score once... I don't know how fuck we can catch up at this point. We'll see. I think the cats can just use... I'm going to refresh. I think it's... Torch. Close, because the, the the wooden alliance can supplement with oh. crafting a lot better than the cats can. That's true. Maybe. I will say though. I would actually like to do that. We have got someone can, at but like, points. Uh, Does that mean it's time unfortunately, I put myself in a <laughs> position. Actually, this might be about the right time to bet. <laughs> We're about at the midpoint. Yeah, this is a fast game. You know what? Fighting. Well, it feels fast. Mistakes. Been pretty... Mistakes it's already been an hour. Well, again, you have to. People want to bet. Gamble, gamble, gamble. Then, like, All right, who are we gambling? I think uh, we're know, gambling. My own mistakes at this point. one and two versus three and four. I'm going to uh, slip. I like that. Right on down to that bottom box. Uh, you. Oh. Uh, this is hostile. Yeah, hostile. these are hostile. Well, that one's a slip, so that's fine. But yeah. this would cost two. One or two versus move. three or four. One or two versus three or four is what I'm uh, thinking. Okay, let me think about this. Uh, <laughs> A third boot. Yeah, that's the hard part about going hostile with the cats. Uh, they are everywhere. The... Oh, okay. Instead of the torch, all three boots. So what are we doing then? Just trying to get down to the bottom half yep. of the map. Uh, two boots to go to here, yep, and then another boot to go Just there. Just trying to get to the wooden lines. Okay, yep. And then exhaust the hammer to aid. Maybe. I would. That's rough because you don't. I do would the say double maybe, aid. Just, just, maybe just hold off just, a turn. I'd just say hold the turn, just stay in a good position, and then get the double aid next turn. If that was the plan, you know what I would have preferred to see. I would have preferred to see scoundrel just hang uh, out in the forest. Yes, look in the forest and just refresh the everything. woodland alliance. Oh no. We're trying for... to grab that bag. Please. And I'm going to grab um, the bag. Because the ah. thing about the thing about hanging out in the forest is on the next turn he could have slipped to the other forest and then used and a single a single boot bag, to get out to the base. Again. Okay, yeah, he's using the bag to aid them again. So at least he's getting the points. Okay, thank okay. You, you. Don't hate that. Yeah, I no, I, if you can do both, then I'm much more on board with this plan. Much more on board with this plan. I like this turn a lot, actually, if you can get both both aids. Grabbing the coins. Yeah, because now Scoundrel gets the, the extra card draw. I, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I was on the fence about it at first, but now I'm 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 in. I just I was very concerned that that you weren't going to get the double aid. Yeah. Uh, but I'm using the bag as the second one is very turn. good. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so now we go back to Woodland Alliance and okay. see how their supporters are looking. So you got five got supporters. Buddy on my side, this is really nice. It means we can help each yeah, other. You're, damn, you are loaded with guards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, can't revolt. Not gonna spread sympathy. Oh! So daylight, I'm gonna craft me Corvid planners. Uh, Londinium. No! Oh Ooh, no. That's dangerous. Oh no. I can't. Um, very dangerous. This, so. Yeah. Londinium, that's correct. Uh, mobile. Uh, top right order is the seat order. So Vagabond, Wooden oh, Alliance, Cats, so well Moles. Mobilize. 
Uh... Alright, so yeah, table needs to be scared. Yeah, Will Alliance is now the biggest Three. threat, and they need to be hit pretty yeah. hard. It's it's not quite um scary. It's not quite uh propaganda bureau levels of terror, but it is close. Actually, do I want to mobilize all three? Yeah, I'll mobilize. Yeah, I'll mobilize all three. I'll use Fox Folk to steal the train and officer. Ooh, going up to five officers. Uh, I mean, I'm always a fan of six officers, but I'm crazy. I like five officers, but maybe not when you have an imminent base removal. That feels like that's in the future with how... Yeah, because it's going to remove three officers out of the five, isn't it? Yeah, right. That's just an extra... One, two, three, four to poof. Oh, oh, oh. Per point. Oh, boy. And then I will recruit. Hmm. Um... I will now draw three cards. My gut says that an average of three battles yeah, for a base with two gun. warriors is about right. Yeah. And because because you have the defender die. And putting it up to three probably bumps the battles up to four. I mean, my that's that's okay. sort of my gut feeling <laughs> correct. Uh, I'd have to look at the math. I know on average the attacker uh, deals two, two hits, but. On Defender. Right, like with, with Guerrilla War, that flips the whole thing, and I don't know the stats well enough. All right, so if I'm the Cats, I'm definitely taking out that Sympathy in the top right, because I don't want to be You just switched there. places with the Vagabond. Top left, you mean? Top left, yeah. Uh, it, like, that that was so obviously... Funny. um obviously, Yeah, Thungan. Uh, he moved all the way up there. What is it called? Projected. For another base. But that being said, if he pops off that base, he's got no warriors to put there. He's no warriors in his bag. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're in concern about another base at the moment, unless it's a juicy one, like like there's points to be gained from doing it. Uh, I think this is just lunar lunar frost spreading as far away as possible to maximize his his sympathy spread in birdsong. No, there is not a turn. I think that's all this is. I do not think so. Uh, I think I think we're looking at a potential huge pop off on Wooden Alliance's part with so many supporters. Like I said, though, like if I'm not sure, I'm just not sure. I think I think Wooden Alliance is probably on a two turn clock and not a one turn clock, but uh, things are bad. I wouldn't hate a table wipe at this moment. No, yeah, I mean. Uh, Londinium, he crafted Corvid Planners, which allows you to ignore rule when moving. Uh, it gives you nimble. So the Wooden Alliance is able to just move all the way up there and recruit. Wait a minute. Or, uh, organize. Oh, you have a sympathy token sitting here. Yeah. Doesn't change anything, but good no. catch. Definitely a good catch. It, it does set them back a little bit. Yeah. I should probably... I should have highlighted this when it was crafted. Corvid Planners is quite... Well, because no one... I mean, look at that crew. He's so innocuous. You're never going to suspect him. You're just like, yeah, just walk through, guy. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that crew is amazing. It, that, yeah, it's an amazing. All right. So... I can't remember if I made that emoji or if Nev made that one. I am mm. going to march. Okay. Cat's moving. Yeah, so this is a big turn for cats. This they have to decide. For cats, I feel like I'd prefer seeing them go after the base than that sympathy. Well, are you gonna win that fight? No. And what are you gonna do? Open up the keep in the process? Well, if you have enough fox cards, then you can at least. Uh, I will field yes. hospital them. Yeah. This this isn't the worst. You you race and leave the policing to the the rest of the table, who arguably can do a much better job of it than you. It's true, it's true. Uh, I mean, moles have the better action economy. Uh, scoundrel could, worst case scenario, torch the key, the uh, base. Yeah. Then I will build. Okay, building a sawmill. Scary, bro. 
my headcanon is that movement rules are just social standards, and the crows go anywhere because uh, they are cool. too unaware to notice they are committing a social faux pas. Love it. Love it. Okay, cats have two woods, three woods still on the table. They built that sawmill all, all the way over in Bunny. I like. Yeah. I like. A faux pas. I will ah, battle ah, this. Ah, 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 ah. Do you have okay. an ambush? No ambush. So I've been against removing sympathy up to this point. I think that is a good one to remove because it it limits where Luna Frost can spread sympathy in Bird Song. Agreed. Because you're you're back to only doing it next to the bases. I think I would have okay. liked to see them. Uh... So vagabond, uh, how do you intend to hurt the cats? Uh, Londinium, that's correct. We have not yet seen a cat victory. No. This is yeah, looking bond. possible. Vagabond cats in seat three. Seat three vagabond is the dominant seat of the tournament so far. Here. You know, we'll Vagabond can't do right here. Right here. It's a relatively thin I don't know map. What you think the Vagabond can do? He has a sword and a crossbow and no teeth. See, I'm kind of thinking about hitting you though. Why me, <laughs> buddy? The cats are the problem. I don't like this. No, don't like no, this. they are not. I... You don't like it. The cats <laughs> Lun have the Lunar Frost here. is is a talker. From what I've been told, they, we are seeing that happen now. I mean, I'm not like the cats are a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. They're gonna have eight wood on their next turn. Can I the board one? real quick? For yeah. The cats? Yeah. They are getting five wood a turn. Yeah, they can put. And they still you. haven't like, built their many... workshops yet. Cats are not not a problem. Uh, Wooden Alliance are a bigger problem. <laughs> Wait, can I can, I see, can, I, can you uh, show action. me the points underneath the board real quick? Okay, and uh, where are cats I will on the spend point? Bridget to battle here twice. Cats can get eight points next turn. That's not a win. It's not a win. It's three from a win actually. One one. Cats can't win. Wooden Alliance could maybe win. That's and fair. that's the difference. That's fair. 2-1. Yeah, I don't I don't like this. Okay. I would have much preferred to see the Wooden Alliance hit. I think this is the table building. succumbing to Luna Frost's table talk. Uh, and I'll spend... I think we're seeing the end of Katari's chances here okay. and the beginning no, of Luna Frost's. Your yeah. Was yes, two, I uh, did. No, no, he there didn't. There was four. He, he, I did. Uh, there was four. There were two no, battles. You, there was two battles. And Both of them you have ones on your yeah. side. So on the you... second one, did you have any warriors to remove? Yeah, I yes. had one. Yes. Yeah. Should have removed two warriors. To... All right, there you go. Cool. Thank you, gents. So you get a point. And did I give myself the point for the second one? Nope, not yet. All right, there okay. we go. I mean, potentially the cats could just move back into that clearing and build there as well right this is this is less about this being like a game ending yes. position for cats and more just not policing the person uh, you who's going to race yet. better yes i'm really hoping to see the vagabond yeah. uh yeah i mean a base. what's vagabond gonna do use their torch they could no, no but... i mean you crossbow one warrior know, you fight with the sword and then there, you have it undefended and you go after it twice with oh wait value. you can't fight multiple times never mind yeah vagabond only has the one sword okay, yeah. forgot i forgot initiating battles right, i'll move there yeah, so our option is really I to torch the base. Know. Unless Vagabond can craft the other crossbow. I'm not gonna They're in a fox clearing, move. they have a hammer. I'm gonna use more. They could here. craft strike strike battle. Cause I'm gonna keep that defended. It has been a good cats game, Luke. Okay. It has been a good cats game. I think Katara has played really well. Yeah. I think this is just the table talk being manipulated away from the Wooden Alliance and the Wooden Alliance is always a problem. Yeah. To spend these two cards. Okay. Uh, Kaznar, Gigi is hiding from us. For whatever reason, she's afraid of Lily right now. <laughs> I don't know what Lily did, but... And I walk up the stairs and then I got out, on the floor to face no. her and she freaked the fuck out. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're on round seven. And here we are again. Yeah, scary bone. That's that's right. Torching the base does extend the game as VB, but does it sacrifice your game in the process? That's that's the question that Omega Knight has to ask himself right now, and it's okay, a tough one. If, the, if if that base yeah. is torched, I can have you spend a sympathy? I can craft. No. no, no, nothing can be placed in that clearing for the rest of the game. <laughs> that's insane. Nothing can move into it for that the rest would, of the I game. Mean, torching that base would really no, hurt. I, well, the I can't. Lions. Let's see. No, yeah, I mean, it would it would successfully extend the game. You can get four spreads and then 
mobilize his troops effectively after that, maybe. And craft this With, I, I think I think Omega Knight needs to be asking himself, "Do I scorched earth right now?" And he needs to be deciding you wanna, you wanna pop what he does if he doesn't, well. and what he does if he does. I'm just Wasn't saying, Alliance I'm just bluntly, happening here and here. bluntly stating they have tea? Okay, that's, that's, it's terrible. Yes, yes. Like, like I think I think Luna Frost is saying that in the intention of like convincing yeah, Vagabond not to scorch Earth right now or and something. And it's every reason for me to okay. scorch Earth. Right, because that's two points that are going to help Wind Alliance close the game before you can do anything. I agree. agree. We should hit you. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, you never think you should hit yourself. Well, what am I going to say? Look, I think that's not wrong. I think Vag Vagabond is in the position to choose which player wins. That was me. Like, like, you give, like, before you did this, it's like, I'm not going to tell you to, but... Thank you Vagabond. very much, by the way. I can't. I, I think can't I got win. to because depending on his supporters, I think he just wins. Yeah, I agree. I He's so you. many yeah. cards. In all honesty, I cannot win next turn. In all honesty, that doesn't mean anything. It just means you have one more turn before uh, he wins. Right. It means it's a two-turn clock and not a one. -turn it looks that like Win Alliance still wins. But I can, well, it's, 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 it's it actually on supporters. That's it. That's what it is. So. It's just I get one more turn versus I get more than about one his supporters turn. not being able to get enough sympathy out. Yeah. Because it's a sign it. of respect that they want to hit you. I think you should look at it on the positive side. Well, the positive side is that I can't win next turn. So. But, again. Like... Okay, can the cats win on their turn is my no. next question. I'm looking at that. Mm -hmm. I really don't... Okay, I... they have two wood out. They're going to get four wood on the next they turn for six. Out. Yeah, they have three out. And they can... No, they have two on the map. One, they two, have... three. Oh, there's a third. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I see it. <laughs> so, no, look at I, that hiding over there. I I can see. And then they can clean up. Yeah, so three on the map, four sawmills, one of which is disconnected but easily win? reconnected. Two builds and how many sympathy kills is that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't see a win for cats. I do not see a win for cats. Many, yeah, we don't know how many birds you have in your. Hand. I'd have to have like four birds for that to work. That's true. No, you wouldn't need to have four birds. No, he would. Or three at least. He's three points you have short. To keep in mind, I also four. have to restore a line in order to get like the two builds anyway. No, you have two builds right here, Dingus. No, no, no. I mean to get the wood over there because this is blocked. You still, you, ha you uh, still have the majority of your wood on this side of the board. No, he's he's correct. Well, Luna Frost isn't gonna, gonna like admit that. that. <laughs> trying to get you to do the police thing. Yeah, I know. I mean, hey. Who, so has removed, who has removed cat buildings on this board? Let's hear that again. I did. Me. I removed cat buildings. He's removed cat buildings. You removed cat buildings. We've all removed cat buildings. Yeah, That's we're true. having fun together. Yeah. This is and this I is just Luna Frost right, working right, the table, right, and I think it might be working. I think Omega Knight's falling for saying, it. Yeah, go yeah. see Alliance, so we can. Luna go, Frost is very uh, has a very okay, aggressive. But you know how this works. You always hit the uh, chest. Kind of aggressive uh, attack. Yeah, you, Mister Mister Twelve, going. fucking we're, supporters. They're they're starting to yell at each other. <laughs> let's let whatever you have. Like let's yeah. let's. It's a lot, but it's only ten. <laughs> only it's a, quote, it's a lot, but I'm surrounded by martial law in an area I literally can't spread. Well, you could break martial law there and just go that way, can't you? Yeah, I mean, I I could, that, but that's four spreads. Spread. And I mean, it's martial law is not so bad when you have yeah, uh, only two sympathy on the board. Spread of three suits of supporters. Yes. You only need two yes. suits of supporters to so get have, out of the martial law. Uh, bird cards versus your supporters, really. Yes. Like, look, you spend three here, and then you spend two it's here, you spend two, two here. Like, that's Actually, he like, only spends two there. there. There we go. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's a spread. It's two, 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 three. So Eight you cards. Can four spreads there, and then just move toast. So, yeah, you are someone to think about right now, Lunar. Let's be real. I, uh, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> arguing that. I'm not something to think about. I'm just saying fact, the two red factions on the board are trying to force the vagabond to do policing that he doesn't benefit from. Because if we're uh, looking, if I, we want to, I look, think I'm a bit too far behind. Anyways, now this is. Omega Knight's not. Well, okay, Mr. Let's, vagabond, like, this is. If he so, has, so, I think um, if here, here, the dust. Okay, here, so I have a question. Wins. If the so vagabond, yeah, dust but infamy you, doesn't apply to scorched earth. I do want to say vagabond. No, I no, have you only get infamy when battling. I would like to craft. Yeah, on your turn, good, like five turns. Yeah, a little late. <laughs> I know. I'm just just saying. Just hang in there, buddy, because I got it for you. A hot cuppa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like uh, the wooden lines and uh, the. Uh, Dutchie are both uh, hawking tea. Uh, they're they're bonding over their um, mutual 
losing position, I think. Do it best suits I will you, say, if I'm I going to, try to if I'm going to partner with somebody at this point, I think Caps it would be Woodland, the Depending on what they do this turn. Like, while he set himself in a good position, he didn't set himself in a good enough position. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, I got, what, two, maybe three turns max to make up these points? I, I'm not sure how I'm going to get this in. Varys, that's a good question. Uh, I think I think Luna Frost made the right choice um, crafting Corvid Planners and using it. Because if the table had not responded by removing that sympathy up in the corner, that would have opened up Frost's uh, Lunar's options so much. Yeah. Um, and it enabled Lunar Frost to have a much better turn than he would have uh, otherwise. So I think it was bad. Okay. Crafting a bag. Okay. I'm going to move back in Scorcher. This is not looking like a Scorched Earth. It could be. We got a boot and a Scorch. It's so sad. I bet the uh, the audience really wants the cats to win, and we're all talking about how we can punch the hell out of them. This is accurate. They're not wrong. No, the, cats... the chat's probably yelling about something we did wrong three turns ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping the Vagabond does not hit the cats again, because I don't think... I should have been questing from turn one, yes. <laughs> oh, no, not... When you watch this back, uh, Omega Knight, you should not have been doing it turn one, because so you do need to explore. I think you got unlucky with the ruin order of items. I should have done Fox Dominance. And with the quest that came out. <laughs> no, no. I should have invaded moles to do Mouse Dominance. There it is. You know, okay, so yeah, I'm going to... Um... This year's practice, next year's playoffs, right, gents? Right. <laughs> you get one loss. That's fine. Moving. I'm gonna move down to the bunny clearing. Ooh, are we scorch earth in the bunny clearing? Less effective than doing the fox clearing. But still hurts. But still Think hurts. About this. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, uh, there is a chance you just win on your turn, so. I am telling you straight up that I cannot win on my turn. Well, that doesn't. Yeah, but. The thing is, uh, if he doesn't win on his turn, I think he's then... thinking about turning your two-turn clock into a three, three or four-turn clock. clock. Yeah, that's, that's well. That just means the cats win them. Cause no, because cats... I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the shit out of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel the moles got to hit the yeah. cats if they want a chance. The well, moles do have that. The cats are gonna be able to punch the cats effectively. I, if we're looking purely like in terms of like maximizing the, the game length, like over so you have the best chance of winning, I think this is the right thing to do. I agree. I think you. I think you scorched earth. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nope, he's doing here's it. Here's the thing before you play something. Scorching. Before you scorching. Okay. He's just like, no. No, no more. Here's the thing. <laughs> We're torching it. Nuke. Okay, I'm still happy to see that. Okay, I yeah. honestly am surprised we're seeing this counter's ability, and I'm so happy we are. Me too. Because I feel like it's not. Uh, I guess used. I will destroy the base first. Yep. As, as is usual, yep, and then and Magma gets two points after for that. This, mm -hmm. down. this is not battle. This is not battle. This is Scorched Earth. You remove all the pieces simultaneously. The active turn player chose, hey, chooses the order oh, of really? resolution Cats. because it's simultaneous things. You're not going to stop them. Well, I because was unaware of that. Time. Yeah, no, this should be outrage, then base removal. And I oh. score two points for cardboard. Yep. And Cats win. GG. We're going to do it, pal. Don't worry about it. All right, so yeah, I know Lunar yeah, seems pretty bitter right now, <laughs> but yesterday Germ also seemed really bitter yes, at that one, so yes. I have I uh, I hold no um. No, never trust the bitterness. I never trust bitterness. Like I understand the bitterness, but I never trust the bitterness. <laughs> but yeah, lesson lesson for viewers: oh, yeah. uh, if it's not battle, the active turn player chooses the order, always. If it's and favor, that, if it's scorched earth, Amazon. whatever, it's it's the active turn player. So then you hit the only person in the game that actively helped you. I so I can so one action here, second action here. I don't think he, third it, action he torched necessarily here, long base because he did take the wooden lines out of the so game, like, but he did hurt them enough to give a longer clock. From then on. So does that mean, uh, I feel like had he torched the other base, it would have taken the woman out of the game for sure. I still would have preferred the other base. I would have preferred the other base, that's true. But there, there's a world where wooden lines comes back from this. That's true. And there, there's an argument that that's, them in the game. that's the more sportsman thing, that's the more balanced thing for the game's ecosystem. Uh, so I'm willing to be wrong about that. I think the hard part for us is both of us are very aggressive, mean people. <laughs> when we play games, we're like, no mercy, just kill it. Yeah. And uh, so we're not always the best at uh, seeing that. How, how are there... 
They had... so, so many bunny cards. You should not have any bunny cards. Yeah. Oh, oh it's because he decided... No, no. No, there's no way there should be that many bunny cards. What the hell's going on? Go ahead and... Oh, no, yeah. I see. No, he had one uh, bunny card, which is probably the one he drew from after he got... really spread he, anywhere else. ...from the base. Uh, the so removal. going to daylight, I will train for an officer. Okay. That's that's because they removed it in the wrong order. They removed it in the wrong order. That's why he still has bunny cards, because he only needed the one. And then there was two mouse for... And I will that. just mobilize my entire hand. Uh, Luke, I think we're on so pace for finals in, like... March? Like, April, May. Okay. Maybe June. Mm. It depends on how many people get eliminated after round two, honestly. Recruit. Right, yeah. Because we're going to probably blow through round two in January, February. Yep. And then depending on the number of people remaining, uh, that will determine how how many weeks it takes after round two. I I appreciate how um, Would. Lunar Frost is under the very big impression that the cats are going to win on this turn, which they are not. <laughs> um, even Watch, watch Katari prove us wrong. Watch Katari prove us wrong, but even when uh, I was doing the math previously it didn't seem like that was the case but i don't yeah i don't see it i don't i'm not it. sitting here doing all the exact math but i don't see it wait can i see their board yep they have it oh wait no never mind they don't have it they could have it no they have it maybe You've said this before. I know. I'm what very are, good at it. What are you seeing? All right, I'm seeing... It, it depends on how many bird cards they have in their hand. Right, right. Um, But they could move down to the bunny and uh, build twice right. for just workshops to get two points. And then build in their keep. They, do, like they don't have a wood connection. So they wood. do right here. They just... <laughs> oh, just build that one, you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> they need zero and one wood. So it'd be really funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh! Hard. Oh! Here. Let's see. Let's see. They could have it. Spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wood to build twice. Okay. Double sawmill. Nine points. And then they just beat this to that sympathy. Bird There's the bird card. No, I'm there it is! There it is! Cats win! What is this? Yeah. Cats win! Oh. I mean, honestly, even had the well, had the score just uh, not happened, the cats the cats well, probably still would have won as long as Wilder Alliance had won. The police, won. The yeah, wasn't even going to win on the next game. <laughs> but GG. But good game to cats. <laughs> yeah, let's pay out before I forget. Game two, pal. We can do it. It's always game two. That is very true. That was seat three. Your win, though. I I wasn't going to win. I wasn't lying to you. I wasn't going to win that turn. It, I would, it was a two-turn win. Right, exactly. And then shot up to 27, 28, or somewhere around there. And then you could, yeah. couldn't yeah, do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I but that's still, really it's still choosing. Think you had it, yeah. by the way. I'm like, I wasn't uh, just... No, I was, be, I was being honest with y'all. I, okay. I, I I'm had, Let's interrupt. I, lo I lose everything by lying, and I was just telling y'all the truth. I was not going to win. <laughs> well, good game, everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good game, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Katara for winning. Uh, that was very entertaining. Thank you, everyone. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats on that first Cats win. Yes. Is that the first Cats win? That is That's the, the first, first Cats, cats win. win. On the board. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like I contributed to something. The wood. <laughs> <laughs> not removing the wood at the end there is the only thing I did wrong. Um, but yeah, thanks, everyone, for playing. We will see all of you in round two. Uh, and everyone watching, thank you for watching. We will see all of you tonight at 6 o'clock Eastern Time for our second game today. So, uh, Looking forward to it. Yeah, have a great one, everyone. Bye.